Hello everybody, and this is the Z-Man, of course, and today I've got Fallout 4. I know it's already came out, and I know this has probably already been done, and I know this is the basic uh, version there we go, of the game. It's for a uh, PC. Uh, I don't have an Xbox One yet. I'd love to get it for Xbox One, but I don't have an Xbox One. So anyways, I just got this version to hold me over. I'll probably end up getting a collector's edition uh, Xbox One or PC version of this game. But uh, for now, we're doing an unboxing for the standard Fallout 4 game. So, as you can tell, I'll move you guys around a little bit. So hopefully you're not too uh, jerky. Hopefully. Why well, hello. All right. First, we've got uh, just the normal front to it. Power armor, Bethesda, PC games, and on the back we have some got a lot of glare going on. But uh, we get a standard back to it. This some. Uh, Bethesda, or Welcome Home, Bethesda Game Studio, the award-winning creator of Fallout 3 and Skyrim, welcomes you to their most ambitious game ever and the next generation of open-world gaming. As the sole survivor, sole blah, 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 survivor of Fallout 111, you enter a world destroyed by nuclear war. Every second is a fight for survival, and every choice is yours. Only you can rebuild and determine the fate of the wasteland. Uh, you have freedom and liberties, collect and build, uh, your special course. Uh, as to the Bethesda marks on the back, so uh, there really isn't a whole lot to look at. We'll go ahead and open it up. I'll put you guys back up here for now. While I open this. So well if I can't open this. Uh get me something sharp and pointy. Like I said, I know there's already been uh, unboxings and all that, especially with the uh, collector's editions. Uh, edition, goodness, I can't talk. But um, I figure I'd do it because I haven't done one for my channel yet. I have not done one for my channel, so got it unboxed and we got it down here. Got my dirty keyboard. Alrighty. And inside, we have a poster. It's part of a uh, Dweller Guy console booklet. I haven't played it, but I have been watching uh, Jack Septicar play um, it. And this is your uh, perks menu because I know it's different than the uh, previous uh, Fallout games and how they've been. So we have Vault Tech at the top, and you have your different people, your different perks, all the different pictures. And I think there are some new ones added in as well. I'm trying not to be too jerky on you guys. But there it is. It's a pretty cool little poster. Pretty neat. And you guys back up here. So stay. Maybe. Stay. Okay. Cool. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online, 
uh, pass. And season pass for Fallout 4. All access pass. I need to look that up, see what that is about. Of course, like I said, there's a guide, or as you guys can see, Survivor Guide, which is just the controls for it. I'm hoping I'm going to hook up a, an Xbox controller. I'm hoping a 360 will work. And then, of course, the game itself. So, that's pretty cool. Like I said, I haven't done an unboxing yet. There's one CD. So, hopefully you guys think this is alright. Uh, if not, let me know if there's things I can improve on. But that's it. I'm going to put this in. We're going to start this thing up, and we're going to do a first episode. Like I said, now there's other people out here. They've already started it and all that, but um, I haven't. So I'm going to play. It. If you guys aren't interested in watching, if the video is um, you know old school or old news or whatever, I'll just play it for the sheer thrill of playing these games because I honestly enjoy playing uh, Fallout. So. Alrighty guys, I'm going to end this episode here, so like, subscribe, comment, do what you gotta do, and as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Later.